I, I work my 40 hours a week mm -hmm. doing the painting, which is like how we make our living here. And then okay. uh, the other things are just kind of like, instead of going to play basketball or watch a baseball game on the weekends, I do some other kind of prankster thing or toy thing. Mm -hmm. So that, that's how I kind of divide up my time. So sometimes I sit and I sculpt things, and then I photograph it, and then it becomes part of a painting, and then maybe that becomes like a mural. Well, like, like the big mural in Manhattan mm -hmm. is actually made from uh, uh, the sculpture. I take a picture of the sculpture and then I paint it from that. So they all go together. Yeah, we've always um, had a lot of people. For the longest time, our studio was in Manhattan on Chambers Street, so mm -hmm. there was a constant flow of people there yeah. and a lot of parties and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so now we're like farther upstate, but still, like at least once a week, somebody comes up. And we probably appreciate people more now because. We're a little more isolated. You know, for, for most of my adult life, my um, art shows have been class reunions for the people that I went to college with and also kind of family reunions. So it, it creates a, a focal point so everybody knows that there's a state and we can show up there and that there's going to be parties and events that they'll all be invited to. Well, I think the nature of being an art, artist usually kind of puts you in isolation. Most mm -hmm. artists spend most of their time by themselves, and um, which is fine. It's, it's almost like meditation, but um, you know, it's kind of like yin and yang. You also want to be out and involved with people and not become some weird hermit. I mean, my first art was um, I made movies, like when I was a kid, mm -hmm. and then the neighborhood would all come and watch the movies, and that was actually, my art was already at, like an event in the neighborhood, like everybody would be in the movies, and then you would have a party and everybody would come watch the movie, so it's always been very interactive. It gives you a different kind of focus to be away. It's more like an event to go to something instead of just wandering down the street. So you don't have to go far to get an art scene. I mean, the, the, the one in, in Manhattan is the one where you're going to make your living, and up here, it's, it's, most of the artists are in it for the art. I had more ideas like my first year in college than, than mm -hmm. I could do in my whole life, so if I really got desperate I could just get the old sketchbooks out. Right? The problem I have is trying not to have ideas because the, the frustrating part about being an artist is money. And um, I have a lot of grandiose ideas and I don't have the financing. A few years ago my wife started, she quit her job and helps me with the business and it okay. made all the difference in the world. Mm -hmm. But she was out working for a company and mm -hmm. doing Kind of like a lot of innovative creative work for them and you know bringing a lot of money into their company and you know finding um, avenues that they haven't explored for the businesses they already set up they were a consulting business so i was thinking you know she goes out and does these this for people and then they make shit loads of money and you know it'd be nice if she did that you know here you know and the thing with with here is at the end of the day you know she punches out and they own the company and she doesn't have a stake in the company and this is her company I guess the first time that I ever experienced like the, the phenomenon of a younger artist is like when I was still in college I gave a lecture and I showed like a bunch of billboards I was doing and one of the younger kids stood up and says, you know, if you if you um got colored gels and put them on the lights on the billboards at night, it would light up all different colors, you know. And, and then you realize like these kids are brilliant. Art's just like being an athlete, you know, you your brain is a is a muscle and uh it's not gonna be as good later is, is when you're young, you can just have a million ideas a minute when you're young and then it, it's more difficult, you have to really keep at it. So yeah, like, you know, I have the advantage of being old and having experienced a lot of, they have the advantage of having this bright, brand new brain. For most of my career, my art's been like social commentary about culture. Yeah. So, um, but sometimes you think, where can I go, you know, from here? And the, the two things I thought I could do is 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 actually be involved with the people, you know, who created the culture. Mm -hmm. So it's more of a collaboration, you know, mm -hmm. and, and then also create my own culture that's independent of commentary on culture. Mm -hmm. So those are the two things I've done in the last few years. So like we did that with South Park or with the, the Ninja Turtles and uh, with the Simpsons. Mm -hmm. and, um, I think we're doing one with Pearl Jam, but, but now we're collaborating with these people where maybe before I just would have been made commentary about them. And I 
I think the first thing you learn when you go around the world is um, that the, the, there's a thing called the media and it, it's largely fabricated and that they're not telling the true story of what's yeah. going on, you know. Mm -hmm. But it, it makes sense because you realize they're owned by somebody who has an agenda and they're going to they're gonna paint a picture that that, that, they paint. that helps their agenda, yeah. Yep. So And they're, they're not going to tell the story they don't want told. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter if it exists or if it doesn't exist. Yeah. You know, I mean, like on a smaller scale, everybody sees the world differently anyway. You know, so yeah, I think for me, it's interesting just to go see things in person. You know, yeah. And then I have my own interpretation of it, and it could be just as invalid as the media's interpretation of it. But yeah. At least you know, I have a, my own take on it. Mm -hmm. But also, I think it's, um, <clears throat> you know, like when I was really young, I just I, I traveled a lot, and I had no money, and I slept in the bushes, and and. Uh, and then later, like now I get invited places, so it's kind of like the opposite, where you actually get picked up at the airport. And So it's nice to see things from both sides, Yeah. like from dire poverty. And, and I would go with no money, and, and I would draw on the streets, and, and people would pick me up, and I would do murals like at their dance studio or at their, their restaurant. Or, so it would be like the very lowest rung of being an artist, but you know, I'd just let people pick me off of the streets and give me work. And, it was it was really interesting to do it that way, and it's also interesting to do it. You know, it's interesting to have the limo pick you up at the airport. <laughs>